guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Seasons After Fall. In the last episode, we found the very final stone in the game, which actually summoned the seed to the center of the sanctuary after we went through the place where she was hiding. We brought her out to uh, this location so that the guardians can hopefully complete their ritual of the seasons, and you can just barely see her at the very tippity top of the screen when I jump, but she is up there. That was um, actually our previous guide, and now all we have left to do is summon the guardian of summer right here to this stone so that they can finally perform that ritual. So that's what we're going to do right now. Um, after we went through the stone, it did open up an area in the summit. And we did go to the summit before, but there really wasn't anything that we could do there. Everything was very, very quiet, and it seems like that's um, the very last place that we're going to have left to explore. So I'm also assuming that the final dream that we need to unlock is probably going to be there too. And I'm really excited to see what that's going to be about because so far it has given us some, some pretty interesting little details about the backstories of not only our seed, but our guardians too. So if we head up this way again, we should be able to make it right back to uh, the mountains. Whoops, <laughs> little fox doesn't exactly uh, want to jump this way. There we go. We'll jump him up all of these little branches and then over it this way. And we should be able to get straight back to um, the mountains. And then from there, we just had to go like all the way to uh, the left, I believe, to get straight to uh, the summit. But thankfully, most of the puzzles should be um, completely done, so we don't have to worry about those. We did see a uh, fall symbol on the tree that uh, kind of started floating in the summit when it was opening up that area. So I'm assuming that there's probably something that we're going to have to do with the fall season there. Uh, maybe it'll make the tree like fall back down. I mean, <laughs> it could do something silly like that. But if we go this way, then it should um, make a little shortcut for us, I believe. There we go, all the way over here where um, this tree is. This tree with um, one of those carvings, and these are quite interesting too. It seems like they actually have something to do with um, the dreams that we've been watching, because I have noticed that those symbols often appear um, in the background of the dreams, and I did it again. Oh my gosh, that is exactly what I did last time we were here. We need to be a little bit higher so that we can actually um, jump straight across. I always forget for some reason that we actually need to be a little bit higher. So there we go. We can go over here, and then I believe um, this should take us straight over to where um, the tree stump was. And then the summit is just like directly left from the tree stump. Um, so let's see, do I actually need to be higher for that one too? Um, no, it doesn't look like it. We can just go straight this way and then we should be able to uh, run straight through the tree stump too. Thankfully, there should not be any puzzles, any of those crazy shape puzzles that the, uh, the Guardian of Summer wanted us to do last time. That was crazy. I mean, I think it was just like overcomplicated by all of the spinning platforms. Hello, little bugs. Don't follow me this time because I am not doing any more puzzles with you. <laughs> They look like they're very sleepy, though. We are running around in the wintertime right now, so I would imagine the bugs would be um, a little bit quieter than normal anyway. But if we go this way, we should be able to make it straight to the summit, and we'll see what we can do here. Okay, so we found one of those flowers too, so there's still three more of those flowers for us to find here, but there is that floating tree, the mysterious floating tree. So let's go ahead and change it to um, the fall time and see if it does anything. Um, it doesn't really seem to be doing anything from here. Maybe we have to be a little bit closer. Let's see if we can find anything this way. All of the trees, all of the trees are actually floating. Um, I think we can actually jump on this one. There we go. This one says spring. Okay, so let's change it over to spring and see what happens. Um, let's see if it'll do anything. If we bark at it, maybe. Oh my gosh, it actually moves. <laughs> okay, so uh, don't fall, little fox, because that's going to be a little bit hard to get back up here. Oh no, it's one of these. It's just like the platforms from that puzzle. Okay, so we really have to time this up correctly. If I go over here, then hopefully I'll see somewhere to a jump to. Let's see. There's our next tree, our next ride, apparently. And this one um, says winter, so let's change it over to the winter time and we'll bark at this one too. And where are you going to take me, big tree? Let's see, somewhere over this way. Um, now it's going back around though. Oh geez, is it over there? Yeah, I think I have to actually be on this branch. Okay, so I'll let it take me around again. I'm not going to be impatient about this. We're going to be very, very patient with this uh, crazy floating tree. Because if I fall down, we're going to have to do this all over again. So we'll just go ahead and be patient, and then uh, we'll jump onto this one right here. There we go, and this is the one uh, with the fall time little uh, symbol here. So we'll change it over to fall, and then we'll let this one take us somewhere too. Hopefully they're going to take us to those dreams as well because I absolutely refuse to leave this place without that final dream. I mean, it must be in this area, right? Um, there is a little platform that we can jump on, some solid land, some solid land to run on. 
Um, I don't see anything here yet though, not even any trees. Here's this one, another springtime tree. Um, I guess we could see what's down here first though, because it looks like there's a little area to explore. Um, and I think we can jump right back up here. Yeah, we can. Okay. So that should be fine. We'll just go ahead and explore this area a little bit because we don't want to miss these flowers, of course. So there's another one of the flowers. Um, here's one of those pods, too. And it looks like an area where we can actually um, blow something up. There's usually a feather right there that we can blow up um, to help us get to the next area. But instead, it seems like we actually have to put like a big wad of snow on there. I mean, isn't that what would shoot out? We have a big wad of snow, and then I guess we could climb up to um, the higher platform if we did that. But it's going to block up the wind, right? Let's see, we'll go ahead and uh, shoot out the snow and get out of the way before it actually um, covers us. And hopefully- oh, wait a second, whoa! That went way up there? Well, I wasn't expecting that, alright. Let's uh, continue on this way, I guess. And we're blocked, okay. <laughs> So we're definitely missing something in this area. I mean, if we changed it to um, the springtime, then it would spit out a big uh, blast of water, I believe. But that was more for um, trying to make the trees grow. So I don't feel like that would really work for us. Um, and that just makes that melt up there. So it seems like we are missing like maybe a little feather that could possibly bring us up to um, the next platform. So I guess for now, we'll just continue on this way. Um, maybe this will give us something that we need. We'll change it over to the springtime again. We'll bark at this tree and we'll see where it wants to take us. Off to the left again, which should be like directly over that area actually. Could we just like jump there from here? Oh my gosh, that was so simple. <laughs> oh my gosh. And um, not only that, but I'm wondering if maybe this is an area where we would be planting a tree. Because um, I do remember these little like areas of um, mud that we kind of spat the water onto. So that actually might be the case. Though if we had the snow there, then we could hop onto this, couldn't we? We'll go ahead and change it to the winter time. And let's see, yeah, the tree is still moving now, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll go ahead and spit out this big wad of snow yet again, and then um, we'll bounce onto that tree up there, and then hopefully we'll be able to climb to the next tree in the line. So that wasn't too bad, I guess. Um, we'll stay right here so that we can hopefully hop straight over to um, the other platform. I believe this will be high enough, right? Yeah, there we go. Now we can actually see it. And then from here, we should hopefully be able to get over here. Wait a second, we definitely can't do that. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit more. Um, if I actually go over this way, then maybe we could get over that log and see if there's anything over here. Um, there was a log right here, right? Right? I think there's a log right here. Um, yeah, okay, so that's where the log was. And if we go this way, maybe we'll be able to find a little seed that we can kind of, aha, bring over there. Oh my goodness. So it's always like the simplest solution that is the one that you should take. And unfortunately, sometimes Jesse Mew does not think of the simplest solutions. Um, if we bark at it, I believe, yeah, there we go. It actually flies. I was a little bit worried for a second that we were going to have a problem. But we could um, actually use this guy to break open this right here if we line it up correctly. We can have him kind of like ground pound the thing and break the log. Um, I think just a couple more times I'll have to do the trick. So we'll bring him a little bit closer to the middle there and hopefully there we go, right into the ground. So the only problem is now that we actually need to uh, bring it a little bit higher up. If we bark at it, then it should go actually straight over to uh, this thing. If we change it to the fall time, there we go. Now it's on top of there. And um, if I can line it up correctly, then I can make it plant itself in that little area with all of that mud. So maybe I should change it over to um, the springtime. We'll change it to the springtime because we are going to need to actually water the thing. So just a little bit closer and now go right into the ground. There we go, there is our tree. Okay, so if I come back over this way, then we should be able to um, hopefully have this guy like spit the water out and make that tree grow. Let's see, can you get it that time? There we go. Our little fox is having a little bit of trouble reaching that pod for some reason, but that should cause the tree to grow. And um, will it have another one of those symbols, I wonder, or is it just going to be a regular tree? It looks like it's just a regular tree, which is just fine by me. So let's go ahead and uh, jump back on this tree when it comes around again. Like again, these floating platforms, these crazy floating platforms are going to be a little bit of a nuisance for us. But um, we'll wait till it comes back around and then we'll jump straight onto um, that other tree, which should be able to take us to the um, second um, springtime tree in this area. And maybe that'll take us to wherever we need to go. So let's go over this way. Um, anything up high? It doesn't look like it. I'm still keeping my eye out for that dream, though. I still definitely want to uh, see that dream if we possibly can. But let's bark at this one and see where this one takes us. 
these crazy floating trees of all the possible things that this game could have. And here's the next platform with some flowers too. That's good to see. And um, was that actually our third flower patch? That might be all of the flowers that we needed now that I think about it. But let's change it over to a winter so that we can cross this a little bit easier. Um, there we go, so that we don't have to swim through all of this water anyway, and we can just jump straight up here and uh, dive across. It looks like this one has a little fall time carving, but before we go ahead and do that, why don't we just take a quick peek down here? Um, there's absolutely nothing down here. <laughs> I thought there was a little hidden area because it kind of goes a little bit further to um, the left than usual, but it looks like we just have to go straight up now. So let's go ahead and change it to the fall time, and we'll bark at this one, and I feel like it's probably going to take us up to this platform right? No? Okay. Okay, it has different plans for us. I wonder if we should check that area out though. So we have a platform on the right, I see that, but let's go ahead and just check and see if there's anything on the left, because it did kind of scoot us there for a very split second. Like, I feel like we could probably make that jump. I think we could, if we're very, very quick about it. If we line it up just right, there we go, and that's the dream! Oh my gosh, that's actually the dream! I was very suspicious about that. But let's go ahead and listen to our very final dream. Oh no, stop. I'm not talking to you anymore. What do you mean, not talking to me? <laughs> Are you sulking? That makes a change. You, who spends your time laughing and singing. Well, I don't want to laugh anymore, and I don't want to sing anymore, so there. Okay, I'm listening. What's upsetting you? I'm sick of always being left out. You never tell me anything. Left out? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Why don't you invite me to attend the Council? If the Council of the Guardians is called the Council of the Guardians, it's for a good reason. You think I'm too young and wouldn't be able to understand? Well, it's not as simple as that. That's too bad. If you won't tell me anything, I'll come and spy on you. So there we go. There's our final dream, guys. Oh my gosh. They really do remind me of like almost a father and a daughter in a way, a father and a daughter, and like they just need to almost reconnect, I guess. I really do like the seat though. All things considered, despite all of the things that she has done, all of the crazy ways that she has kind of like upset the balance of the forest, she is quite the character, isn't she? She's very young. Very young, a little bit inexperienced, and I think that's kind of her problem. The Guardians didn't exactly... I guess handle her in the best way because maybe they they should have given her more information. Maybe they should have kind of let her know where she was headed in life. But it seems like um, we are probably going to help mend that little relationship for them, or at least I hope so. But we have one of these jellyfish finally too, so maybe this will take us to uh, wherever we need to go. I think we have officially found every single last of the flowers in this area. I know we've missed a couple of them in um, different areas, but it seems like this one is done. We have that final dream, so I feel like, I mean, we must be close to reaching the final altar too. Aha! Here it is all the way back at the, like, beginning of the summit. Okay, so here is our jellyfish path. This is actually probably going to take us to a different area, isn't it? It looked like it was going way up high in the sky. So let's see. Ah, yes, one of those jellyfish paths. So last time it took us um, to an island, and this time we're back on the foliage. Okay, so hopefully the uh, altar is going to be around here somewhere. Let's see, we'll change it over to fall so that we can use these mushrooms and I think I already spy one of those puzzle pieces. There it is. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting too. Like we are getting so close to the end now. I would imagine that this is probably going to be the end of the game and it looks like we only have one other piece to find. It looks like somebody else already found a couple pieces for us. All right. All right. Well, I am not going to uh, complain about that. It looks like we only have one more, so maybe it's over this way. Um, we'll go ahead and bark at this jellyfish right here. 
and hopefully it'll bring us straight over to it. I mean, if it's going to be a quick one, then I won't complain about that because that means we can go straight to uh, the heart of the sanctuary and get started straight away on um, the Ritual of the Seasons. But let's go ahead and go down this way because I believe that's where um, the jellyfish was. It looks like it'll probably take us back up to uh, that previous location just in case we need to get back up there, but this is very familiar, isn't it? This is actually where we um, found the last puzzle in the last episode. Ah, yes, I remember that thing. So is the last piece just going to be like scattered somewhere around the tree stump? You know, let's just take a real quick peek up there because I would hate to go all the way around this tree stump again if it's right up here. Um, let's just take a really quick peek, make sure it's not anywhere up high on top of these mushrooms like the other one. Um, I don't believe it is. And we just have one more piece to find too. Like that's really bizarre that there's only a couple pieces. So somebody has already done a little bit of work for us too. Um, it looked like there may have been a pathway right here. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, it is right there. It is literally right there. Okay, so I'm very glad that I didn't go wandering all the way through that tree stump just looking for this very final piece. But there we go, that's going to be the last altar complete. And that should actually summon the Guardian of Summer to the Sanctuary so that they can finally complete their Ritual of the Seasons. So let's go straight over there and bark at that altar so that it'll probably um, activate, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's open up the altar and uh, hopefully bring the Guardian of Summer straight to the Sanctuary. So this might be it, guys. This might be the end of the game right here. That should hopefully call the Guardian over to the Sanctuary, and then all four of them will be ready to complete their ritual. There they are, there's our Guardian, and of course our little fox too, which I am still desperately hoping we can do something for. And there's that lovely Cicada, of course, with all of their puzzles. The four Guardians have gathered in the Sanctuary. Everything is ready for the ritual. Come and join us, Fox. You must see this with your own eyes. All right, it looks like we're ready. So let's go down there and see what happens. I think we can actually use that stone from uh, the last episode to go straight back to the sanctuary. So we'll see if we can find it. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier to find than um, the actual exit of this place. If we go this way, let's see if we can just like run straight into it. Um, these are all of those puzzles and I don't want to touch those. We are not going to do any puzzles in this episode, not after last time. And actually this might be the exit right here. There we go. So if we just continue on this way, then we should actually make it straight back to the sanctuary anyway. And I think I'll cut ahead in the video until I get there. So I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, here we go. That's the end of the mountains, which should take us straight back to the sanctuary. All right, so we're almost there, guys. Almost to the heart of the sanctuary and almost ready to see whatever it is that um, these guardians want to do with the seed, I guess. This is what they were kind of leading up to all this time. We needed to uh, wake them up so they can complete their um, official Ritual of the Seasons, which the seed attempted to do, but um, her version was definitely not what was uh, meant to happen because it just ended up killing our fox. So we'll go ahead and see exactly what this is about. Here we go, there's all of the dreams too. Here we are, guys. We're at the heart of the sanctuary with our little fox. Here you are, fox. Thank you again for everything you've done. Crane? Eel? Cicada? May the ritual commence. she is. That's her, right? And that's one of those symbols that we saw on those trees.
What would have happened to the cycle of the seasons if not for you, Fox? Don't worry. The seed hasn't disappeared. In this world, nothing ever starts and nothing ever ends. If you know where to look, if you know how to listen, you'll always be able to hear her voice. Can we do something for you in return? I understand, but it's impossible. As much as we would wish to reward you, dear Fox, we cannot break what has already been broken. Don't cry for your fox. We'll make sure we honor him. Oh my gosh, that is so sad. So he can't actually help my fox? Oh, that is the end too. So we did find all of the dreams. So I am going to wait and see if there's anything more that they want to show us after the um, credits finish rolling. But that's interesting. So they freed the seed, it seemed, with the uh, ritual of the seasons, or at least they sent her off to kind of germinate into, it looked like an altar almost. But whatever it was, was meant to help the cycle of the seasons continue on. So I'm not 100% sure what she has become from here on out, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think she has turned into, what she's going to become in the future. I almost wish we could continue and like go visit her and talk to her and see how she is because I feel kind of bad that they didn't really reconcile either. I mean, they just basically sent her off on her own feeling the way that she does. She's still so afraid just based on what we saw the last time we spoke to her. So that makes me feel kind of bad, like I almost wonder if we really did the right thing there. I hope there is some way that we can go back and talk to her again and just make sure that she's okay. Because all things considered, despite all the things that happened, despite all of the ways that she kind of messed up the balance of the forest, I really did like her and I felt bad for her. So I hope that she'll find peace in some way now that she has taken on her true duty as the seed. So again, since we found all the dreams, let's just stick around for a moment and see if there's anything left of the story for us to take in. There's all of our dreams, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure we have them all. All four of them, so something is going on now. Will they help our fox after all? They said they couldn't fix what's broken, so I don't know. Something is definitely going on, though. Oh, I have my fingers crossed. Please, little fox, be okay. Can we actually jump in there? Is this like a portal now? Um, let's see. It actually is. Okay, so this is like the fox's portal. Oh my gosh, all these flowers too. Look at this. We can run with the flowers. This is actually um what the little seed planted, right? Oh, look at all of this. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> I want to plant the flowers absolutely everywhere, all along the trees and on the branches and everything. Oh, look at all of those. Even in the background. Whoa. Oh my gosh. And this is like um the area that the fox was running through in the beginning. Remember that? Whoa. Oh my goodness. Hello, little fox. Big fox now. Oh my gosh, did we actually merge with the fox then? Look at that, we did! A giant fox! Oh, that is so cool! So we are back with our little fox friend after so long! So, has the fox become a guardian too? It kind of seemed like that may have been the case. He is certainly big enough to be a guardian. So maybe the fox is going to carry on its own little season. Because we did learn that the guardians can create new seasons as well. Oh my gosh, that is wonderful. I absolutely love that game, and I hope you guys did too. Look at that, we are completely done with it now, 100%. So as always, feel free to leave me suggestions for more games that I should play in the comments below. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!